everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna do something very simple. All I'm gonna do is swap out springs on the Bixby on this Gretsch Baritone here. I've been a big fan of using longer springs like this on all my Bixby's over the years. I've already swapped the stock spring out of this Bixby for one of these longer ones because I am such a big fan. The reason why I like these longer springs is because it gives me more physical room to move the bar. I have kind of big hands. I like to be able to wrap my fingers around it. And with the stock springs, they tend to sit about half height from this. And it just gives me a lot less room to work with. I tend to just end up using the tips of my fingers to press it in towards the body where I like to grip it. I wanna grip that wiggle stick. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyways, people have been recommending these Reverend Springs for a while. So I decided to finally pull the trigger and order one. They're about 10 bucks direct from Reverend. I forget how much I pay for these longer springs. Let me check that on Amazon real quick. What did I just pay for one of those? It was 15 bucks. So five bucks more than the Reverend one. Yeah, 1073 is what I paid Reverend, including tax. I don't remember if there was extra shipping on that. But it's the Reverend Soft Touch Spring. That sounds promising. I have a feeling that because it uses less coils and feels lighter weight than this regular spring, it's not going to hold the bar out as far as this long spring. But if it gets me extra flutters, extra like like a softer feeling, it'll be an interesting trade-off. So I'm looking forward to trying it. I can tell right now just by squeezing it versus the other one that it is softer. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with a measurement of how far away the bar is from the body. Pretty much two inches exactly. Yeah, the two inch line is perfectly in line with the top edge of the bar. I didn't need to take the strings all the way off when I put this longer spring in here, so I kind of doubt I'll need to do that to swap this spring too. I'm just gonna loosen them enough that I can pull the bar back and swap the springs. Old replacement spring is out. New replacement spring, please go in. Please don't fight me. It is in, and I can already tell that it's more wobbly. I'm excited. This could be fun. <sighs> High string always makes me so nervous. All tuned up. I want to take a quick measurement to see what the difference is. Oh, it sits much lower. Oh, it sits much lower. Sits right about one and a quarter. So I lost three quarters of an inch <laughs> with this spring swap. But it's sitting probably above where it sat with the stock spring, which was much shorter than this. I don't feel like I'll be able to, you know, kind of wrap my hand around it anymore. My fingers are impacting with the volume knob here. But if it's more wobbly, it could be, it could be a nice trade-off. We'll see. Yeah, I'd say it's a lot more fluttery. Mm -hmm. 
it definitely sits in that more traditional physical position of kind of resting off the body an inch or so. Uh, when I try to do a more extreme dive with it, I do get stopped by that volume knob before I can even impact the, uh, the pit guard here. So I've lost a bit of the range that I had with this longer, stiffer spring. But the ease of like those little fluttery sounds is so much better now. <laughs> it's also having trouble staying in tune because I just dropped the tuning like crazy and then brought it right back. I'll say that's very pleasurable. I get why people are recommending this. I do wish it was longer. Reverend, I like this spring that you have. Make it longer. I want more of the spring. I'll pay $5 more for a longer one. I already do that with this stiff boy here. I already pay 15 bucks for a metal spring. You make me a longer one? So even just like half an inch longer, three quarters of an inch longer so that I can get the throw of that bar out a bit more and I'll be totally sold. Right now, anyone looking for a more fluttery, looser feeling from their Bixby, I can recommend this, absolutely. I remember the, uh, the stock spring that came with this sat about this level, but was way stiffer, way stiffer. So yeah, for, for 11 bucks, just under 11 bucks, I think that's a no brainer upgrade for any Bixby. But I do wish it was longer. Reverend, I'm not joking. Make me a long boy. What do you guys think? Do you like your arm way up in the sky, way off the body the way I like it? Or do you like it close to the body? Do you want it wobbly or do you want it stiff? I'm probably gonna leave this in here for a while. I think eventually I might swap that longer, stiffer spring back in there and maybe try this spring on my Hallmark. I've been using a long spring on there and I did a video a while back where I compared my Hallmark to a, uh, a 90s Moserite and the, the wiggle stick was just a lot more fluttery on the 90s Moserite and I've been wanting to try to recreate that feel on my Hallmark. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt like this if you're naked. I'm not naked, it's because I'm wearing a shirt. That's how clothes work. Um, if you are interested in these long springs, I have affiliate links to the Amazon uh, item down below. If you want one of these Reverend Springs, I'll put a link to that as well. There's no affiliate earnings there for me, but you know what? You should get what you want, <laughs> right? You already watched this video. You already helped me out by doing that. So don't worry about affiliate links. All right, bye everyone. Stay grounded.